Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As we are aware that the integration of Astra with Su-30 MKIs have been completed and the integration of Astra with Indian Air Force MiG-29 and light combat aircraft Tejas MK-1 and Indian Navy's MiG-29K aircraft is also in progress. Once the overall integration plan is complete, the Astra will be standard long-range air to missile across India's entire fighter fleet except for the French origin Rafale and Mirages. Soon, India will need huge numbers of Astra Mark I for its fighter jets. We can expect the Tejas MK-1A trials with Astra Mark I as well in this year. In July 2020, the Defence Ministry formally sanctioned the purchase of 248 Astra missiles, including 48 for the Navy. As per the latest tweet from Defence Minister Sri Rajnath Singh, the Ministry of Defence today signed a contract with Bharat Dynamics Limited for supply of Astra Mark I air tour missile and associated equipment for the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy at a cost of Rs 2,971 crores under Buy India category. With a range over 110 km and a maximum speed of Mach 4.5, the Astra Mark I is seen as a game changer which has brought back the Indian Air Force air-to-air -air combat superiority over Pakistan. However, it is still not enough as the Chinese PL-15 missile and its export variant PL-15E has range in excess of 145 km and it is still a threat for Indian Air Force. Pakistan has already received PL-15E missile with the J-10C Chinese fighter jets. Considering the enhanced range of PL-15 missiles, DRDO has accelerated the work on extended range Astra Mark II and Astra Mark III missiles regarding which we will be discussing as well. The Astra Mark II development is also near completion or we can say it would be complete and is ready for its maiden trial from Su-30 MKI. The trial was expected this month which we have not yet witnessed. The Astra Mark II is the dual pulse variant of Astra Mark I. It encapsulates all the latest technologies borrowed from other successful missiles like DRDO's dual pulse motor from MRSAM and Seeker from Astra Mark I which gives it a range of over 160 km in head-on chase mode and around 40 km in tail chase mode. DRDO will pre-produce 25 Mark II missiles to fast-track testing and integration of the missiles. Indian Air Force has also assigned 4 to 5 Su-30 MKIs that will be upgraded with latest software patch and will go through minor modifications so that they can be used as a test bed for Astra Mark II trials. The missile system will be ready to enter production in 2023. Astra Mark III, which is going to be a very long range beyond visual range air to air missile, will also start its developmental trial in 2022, that is this year. Astra Mark III will have range in excess of 340 km, which can target strategic aerial assets such as AWOCs, refuelers, and transport aircrafts. Astra Mark III will be the first missile to use SFDR technology. The SFDR is an advanced technology than ramjet. It uses air-breathing ramjet engine which can vary thrust according to the requirement which increases the kill probability. The same technology powers the MBDA's famous Meteor missile integrated with Rafale fighters of Indian Air Force. DRDO has co-developed a solid fuel air breathing ramjet engine SFDR with the help of Russia and we have seen its recent trial on 18th of April and two more last year. In future, SFDR will also be integrated in Astra Mark II. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.